uh, that we agree on on those kind of strategic issues. Yeah. I, I do believe uh, he is a, 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 a European, and and he he wants to see Kosovo as an EU member state. Uh, so I think strategically we are aligned. Uh, what where I would kind of argue we sometimes differ is on the methods uh, and and some of the timings uh, of of certain things but uh, but generally speaking uh, i do believe this is a pro european government which is strongly european government by the way it is also a very strongly pro european population with uh, my understanding 94% uh, supporting eu accession so in this sense uh, I do feel uh, I do have a partner uh, which is really interested, uh, really kind of uh, taking into account what we are discussing, uh, but obviously making sovereign decisions uh, on the, those. Again, and again, we, I admit, we sometimes uh, do differ on, on tactics uh, and, and, and methods and other issues, but generally speaking, uh, uh, this is uh, a government which really wants to be uh, and behave Europe in a European way. Uh, my last question, I guess. Well, there are elections in EU 6 to 9, June. Um, uh, do you think the political panorama will change after these elections? In European Union? Well, if we will see uh, on that. Uh, the elections are early, early June. Uh, obviously, we would also uh, uh, see the election campaigning. Uh, also here, uh, we already started to discuss with the colleagues, EU ambassadors, uh, how to uh, organize uh, elections uh, also here in Kosovo. I am eager to go to the Czech embassy to vote. Uh, uh, and uh, obviously, uh, I, again, difficult to predict, uh, but uh, my sense is uh, that uh, this uh, there will be probably some shifts. But I think that there will be some shifts. Uh, yeah, maybe yes, I probably. But again, my sense is that uh, those major groups who are there uh, would still be the major group. So I, I would not expect uh, uh, kind of completely different again. Uh, shifts here and shift there, but uh, I would not expect uh, the major kind of changes. What I would say is that obviously, uh, because it's election time, uh, the EU would probably focus more on itself, uh, uh, starting maybe already in May uh, because of campaigning and other things, uh, uh, and then going to elections, uh, then going to the summer break, but also immediately after summer break, uh, the establishment of the new European Parliament, uh, and then, obviously, um, a, new, a discussion on the composition of uh, the European Commission, uh, composition uh, or uh, who is going to be the president uh, of Commission, uh, president of Council, uh, president of European Parliament, uh, pre uh, the high representative. Uh, uh, so, uh, we would need, uh, I would expect, uh, to actually focus less uh, on external issues uh, and focus more on those internal uh, issues. Uh, and this probably might last until, let's say, October, November, uh, until there is an agreement uh, about the composition of the new institutions, uh, which should take over again sometimes before the end of the year. And, and, and again, this also argues, from my perspective, uh, that time to act uh, for Kosovo, for Western Balkans, is, is now. This is the last.